So getting into binary exploitation, I know I made a poll a while back and uh, you guys overwhelmingly were interested in getting into uh, some binary exploitation. Uh, I know a number of people uh, that are pursuing OSCP have an interest in learning more about this topic because you know, obviously the buffer overflow will be a part of the equation, but there's a lot more to this stuff than just doing buffer overflows. Um, you know, that is definitely one big area of binary exploitation. But uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are really overwhelmed by even getting into this area. And a lot of people in this field delay on, on learning this stuff. And I was definitely one of those people. So I'm speaking from experience here. Uh, but it's definitely a really important topic to understand uh, as an offensive security guy, whether you are doing red teaming or web app pen testing or, you know, you just want to break into those more difficult CTFs, you know, because a lot of times those, those tougher CTFs will incorporate some binary exploitation and things like that. And there are real world scenarios where having this knowledge is going to help you. That is a recurring theme that you're going to notice in cybersecurity. There's really no limits to how much you can learn. And you're never wrong for learning something, right? I mean, maybe uh, if you want to be really efficient, really cut your time down, um, th then targeting specifically uh, what is most relevant to where you want to be is going to be helpful. And that's where I think that my uh, course could be really helpful to you guys. This is the last day to get it, by the way, if you're watching this video right when it comes out. Uh, you have till today, which is 11-7, you know, November 7th uh, at midnight uh, there will be central time uh, in order to purchase the course. If you want to get in to, uh, to the course and just have me mentor you and teach you uh, from the ground up web app pen testing, and I can cut some of that time in half. But really and truly, um, in the long run, in the, in the very grand scheme of things, if you're willing, you know, if you have infinite time, then it's never bad to learn anything. You'll never go wrong with learning anything uh, in, in this field, really, because you'll start to notice it all comes full circle, really. Um, so, I like, for example, I was learning some malware analysis. It's completely uh, out of my own interest, um, not for any career move or anything like that. I was just playing around with some malware analysis. And then when I saw on a CTF that there was some Windows uh, binary exploitation at play, um, and I had to do some dynamic analysis. I already knew what tools to use on Windows. I was familiar with tools like Procmon, uh, Process Hacker 2, and um, you know DN Spy, and all those different uh, the different tool sets. And uh, that was one area where you know I just realized that hey, it all came full circle. But uh, you know that's why you can never go wrong with learning uh, in general. Um, now. How, how few and far between will those be versus how often will you actually use what you learn? That's where it can help to be more targeted. But um, yeah, so basically the long and short of what I'm trying to say is that no matter what area you are um, focused on in this field, it will be beneficial to you to learn this stuff. So I want to teach you guys from the ground up. I want to make this more approachable here. Uh, so I'm starting a new uh, series on my channel here. This can be covering binary exploitation. Um, it's something I've been trying to uh, create content for for a while. And I'm just, I'm just getting around to it. Because, um, yeah, it's really exciting. And I'm always learning more about this area as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you guys to some of the platforms available that can help uh, build your skill set up in this area. I think a lot of people neglect the challenges and hack the box. There's challenges as well as uh, the boxes, right? But I also think that another thing about this area is that there is less approachable content um, really easily available like there is for, I don't know, say like your CTF um, hack the box machine, like the machines, right? Um but try hack me uh, while we're at it. Try hack me once again, coming to the rescue. They have some, they have not too much binary exploitation, but they do have a few good rooms. Um, in particular, I did one that taught me how to use the Pwn tools, um, Python library. And uh, that's something that we're going to be covering in this series as well, how to use Pwn tools, which uh, if you've watched other YouTubers uh, solve these kind of challenges, Pwn tools is very, very popular. I'll be covering how to use... Um, the uh, Pwn Debug um, add-on for uh, GDB. Uh, that's another really helpful one that really extends um, the usefulness of GDB, makes it a lot uh, better to use, in my opinion. Um, you know, maybe prefer Jeff or uh, what was the other one? 
there's another really popular one out there. I'm drawing a blank on it at the moment, but, um, yeah, whatever you, pre- oh, PETA, PETA, that's right. Yeah. So, you know, maybe you prefer one of those, but we'll cover Pwn Debug. And, um, in the next video in this series, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Ghidra, which is completely free, open source, uh, developed by the NSA in order to analyze binaries statically. Uh, obviously, there's so many options you have for that. You don't have to use Ghidra. You could use Radari too. I'll we'll cover that a little bit in this series. We'll also, uh, well, I won't be covering uh, the paid uh, the paid platforms like Binary Ninja or Ida Pro, but those are also uh, really good. Um, Binary Ninja is gaining a lot of traction. Ida Pro, super expensive, but it is a, an industry standard um, at the moment, even still. But we'll see how long that lasts, really. But uh, yeah, we're going to be, I'm just going to be showing you from the ground up how to do this stuff. So if you've ever tried to get into binary exploitation, you felt overwhelmed or whatever the case may be, we're just going to be going, uh, like I said, step by step from the ground up. There's a lot of really good training platforms to hone your skill set in this. So I'm going to be covering what those are. We're going to actually get hands on. I'm going to be doing walkthroughs of some binary exploitation stuff as well. So yeah, we're going to demystify this area, so don't worry, and all this content will be 100% for free on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, I mean, before I get really into the weeds on making this content, first, uh, show me that, you know, whether or not this would be worth my time by hitting the like button uh, on the video it lets me know that, hey, this is something that you guys are interested in, and I should invest some time into making these videos, um, and, you know, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop them down in the section below as well to help give me some feedback. So, yeah, with that being said, if you just want to get into the content right away, totally understand that. We got some videos on screen for you right now. I'll see you guys right over there. Thanks for watching.